Hi there. Welcome to Quick Tactics. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create your own Canvas templates. Canvas templates are backgrounds you create to use over and over again and effectively save you loads of time having to recreate certain situations. As an example, when you create a project, you load a background onto the canvas, then add markers and draw items on top of the background, which is fine. However, sometimes, if you are creating a large session design, you might find that you accidentally select, delete or move layers that you don't want to change. It's happened to me loads of times and can be very frustrating. This is where canvas templates come in very handy. Creating canvas templates is a very simple task. You just load a background, set the ground up how you want the situation. Then export the image to your library as a template. Then, when you load the template you created, you will see that the ground items are part of the background and cannot be selected, which means they cannot be accidentally deleted or moved. Let's go ahead and create a couple of templates, then use the templates in creating an example project. Open the session planner, if you don't already have it open. Now let's choose a background we want to use to create some session designs. Click on Tools on the top menu and hit Canvas Manager. Navigate to the Football or Soccer Canvas Pack, expand fields and blank folders and select the Style 1 folder. Then open 3D Field P front image. When the background has loaded, let's add a few markers and create a basic situation. Locate the orange cone marker on Marker Menu 1 and click it. Once it's highlighted, Hold the shift key down on the keyboard and click the canvas six times to place the cones where I put them. Once finished, take your finger off the shift key. You might need to occasionally pause and play this video a few times while we go through this tutorial. Okay, now we have our cones in position. Let's place some lines onto the canvas to complete our situation setup. Select the multi-line tool to create our white lines and click the white color selector. Now move the mouse to the top left cone and click once. This will place a line onto the canvas which follows your mouse cursor. Move your mouse to the bottom cone like I do, and click once. A line will be added to the canvas and continue to follow the mouse cursor. Now move the mouse to the next cone and click it. Then the next cone and click, and back to the first cone but don't click yet. This time double click the canvas to finish adding the multi-line. You should now see a white line, that goes around all the cones. However, notice the line is on top of the cones. Let's fix that now. Click the selector tool, if it's not already selected. Now click the white line to highlight it. You will notice, that the four points we originally clicked when creating the multi-line, has handles. You can now adjust the line, by holding your mouse button down on any handle, and drag it to position. Then let go of your mouse button, when you are done. Once the line is perfectly in position, click the line again to select it. Now click layer on the top menu, and select move to the bottom. What this does is place the multi-line item to the bottom most position of the layer stack. And as a result, the cones will appear above the line. Now we need to tweak the cones, so they are perfectly in position. Click the selector tool, and click any of the cones that need tweaking. When a cone is highlighted, you can use the keyboard arrow keys, to move the cones on the canvas. And if you hold shift while pressing the arrow keys, the cones will move faster. Use the same process, to place each cone perfectly into position along the line. Now you have the ground set up how you want it, it's time to export the image and save it as a canvas template. Click File, on the top menu, and click Export Full Slide. The exporter window will appear and render the image. After the image is displayed, click Save to Library. Right click the topmost image folder, and select New Subfolder. Give the folder the name Canvas Templates, and hit the OK button. A new folder will be created. Now click on your Canvas Templates folder to highlight it. And in the Save Images input box, type Ground Template 1. And click Save. The canvas will now be saved to the new folder. Let's now modify the canvas project we are working on, and create a new canvas template. Now we want to place a line, below the two middle cones. Hit the standard line tool. Move the mouse cursor to the middle cone, then press and hold your mouse button. Draw the mouse cursor to the opposite cone, and when the line is in position, let go of the mouse button. You should now see a new line created. Tweak it into position if needed using the selector tool and the arrow keys on the keyboard. Once it's in perfect position, 
Make sure the selector tool is set. Then click the middle cone, and hold your shift key down, and click the opposite middle cone. Both middle cones should now be flashing. Click layer on the top menu, and select move layer to top. What this does is bring the selected cones to the front layers. Making the line appear below the cones. Now let's save this as a template. Click file on the top menu, and select export full slide. The export window will open, and render the image. Click save to library to open the file manager. Input ground template 2, into the save image input box. Then click save, to save the new canvas template. You will now be taken back to the session planner. Let's save this project out. Click file, and select save project as, to bring up the project work folder. Now navigate to a folder where you want to save this project to. In the project name input box, add canvas ground template style to. And click save. Now let's test the new canvas templates we created. Click file, and select new project, on the top menu. Keep the default project name, and hit create. When the new project workspace has been created, click tools, and select canvas manager to open the canvas manager. Now we want to load the new canvas template, as a background image. Navigate to the canvas templates folder we created earlier. You should see the new template called ground template 1. Click it, and hit load canvas. Or double click the image to open it. The background canvas, should now contain the orange cones, and lines we created. However, notice that you cannot select them. That is because they are now part of the background image. You can now add content, without having to worry about selecting the cones, and lines. And, as your designs get more complex, you will find that using canvas templates, will make it easier to manage. Let's change the background again. Click tools on the top menu, and hit canvas manager to open the canvas manager. Now locate ground template 2 in the canvas templates folder. Click it and hit load canvas. You will see that the line we created has been added. Notice that you cannot select, move or delete the lines or cones. That's it, you have successfully created, two canvas templates. Although this was a very basic example. There will be situations, when canvas templates will really save you time. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial.